up guys my name is Tristan Ortiz hope you guys are having a fantastic day and thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel of course for another Black Ops 2 video I know that's kind of weird to say guys but in today's video we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and the possibility that it could be backwards compatible on the Xbox One which could be happening very very soon now before I get into the video if you guys could leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy today's video that would mean a lot to me of course and as well if you guys are brand new to the channel it would be greatly appreciated if you guys would subscribe and with that being said guys let's get into today's video so as you guys know Activision Xbox they have been tweeting out for a very long time about what Call of Duty we would really like to see being brought back to Xbox One or PlayStation 4 via backwards compatibility. Now, if you guys are not aware, we have Modern Warfare 2 that has gotten remastered, and we've also had World at War that got remastered, and then we've also had Modern Warfare remastered, which kind of shows that there's a lot of opportunities you know, especially with other games that have been uh, labeled backwards compatibility. And when Activision did a whole survey on this and everything, uh, the entire community actually voted the most for Black Ops 2. Because Black Ops 2 has probably been one of the biggest Call of Duty games of all time. It was a massive game. Probably one of the biggest for the entire franchise of Call of Duty. And ever since then, people have wanted it as a remastered game. Well, since, you know, like 2015, most of the community is going back almost every single day and just grinding out Black Ops 2, which is kind of insane to think about it. Now, Charlie Intel, about an hour ago or so, tweeted out to Xbox releasing a new video about their spring sales, you know, kind of where they show what type of things that they have to offer for, you know, every sort of uh, spring season or whatever, and telling us what games we could see that would be on offer for the next few weeks, of course being it's a spring spa uh, sale and everything, and it's all Xbox 360 and Xbox One games shown in this image. Now, some of the cool things that we do see in here, uh, you know, some of these games that are in here are like FIFA, NBA, 2K17, Overwatch, Battlefield, a couple of other ones, I believe, and, you know, among others. But the most interesting one of all of this, the most interesting one of all of this is Black Ops 2. And that's interesting because it raises the question, not only the fact that it's the only Xbox 360 game that technically isn't on the sp that is on the spring uh, sale sorry but also it's interesting because it raises the question about what if we're going to be seeing black ops 2 and going to backwards compatibility with the xbox one now we're not sure about it going to playstation 4 you know for those of you guys that are on playstation 4 myself i'm on xbox most of the time and so that is something that is kind of intriguing to me and then they also had a brand new trailer uh, going out as well showing it that was separate from the thing that Charlie Into showed now my opinions on this guys I think that this is really great for the community because we get to have one of the most iconic Call of Duty games back in the scene which is an absolutely fantastic decision on the part of Xbox and Activision and Microsoft because this game and so many people, uh, this game is a fantastic game and so many people seemed very excited because when they saw this Everybody started questioning it because everybody loves Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 still has a very solid fan base when you you know you have uh, anywhere from 15 to over 100,000 people playing the game every once in a while. I still every you know a couple times a month go and play Black Ops 2 just for the fun of it on my Xbox 360. So that is kind of a you know whole thing that kind of w uh, makes me wonder what if we're going to end up seeing you know Black Ops 3 or sorry, Black Ops 2 on backwards compatibility with the Xbox One. Now, for those of you guys that know, uh, don't know what Black Ops 2 would be on backwards compatibility, it means you could put in your Black Ops 2 disc for 360 and play it on your Xbox One. You wouldn't have to go out to the store and buy a brand new one. You could just immediately put it into your uh, Xbox One and just simply play the game like that. So with all the info we have and everything, I'm thinking that we could definitely be seeing it come via backwards compatibility in the near future. But do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys like to see Black Ops 2 come back via backwards compatibility. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And with that being said, my name is Tristan Ortiz and I will see you all in the next.